Okay, I'll uh, try to show you what I did here. Uh, give you a little example with the smart flow. It's probably the easiest way to do it. You could do it with curve from two views, but it's probably a little bit more difficult. But uh, this this should be okay for you uh, making uh, the ring here. Uh, so we'll go and uh, uh, start from s from the beginning uh, and. Uh, try and show you how I did it. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, select all this and just get rid of it. Uh, delete it and uh, we'll go ahead and freshen up. Start with the new uh, grid and everything. Uh, so the first thing of course you want to do is get go to your tools, uh, get your ring rail. I'm just going to use a size 7. Uh, hit enter. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, get a curve and just draw a straight line to make that uh, surface so that we can uh, use to uh, build everything on. And I have my uh, quads uh, checked, so I'm going to change to creation layer. And at the bottom, if you do it at the top, you'll have to rearrange the seam points possibly. So I just do it at the bottom and then I'm going to hit uh, both sides and then click to the quad, uh, bring it out, doesn't matter because we're just going to build it. So I'll just bring it out, hold down shift so it's straight and click uh, enter and there we have that and so now we'll go to our surface menu, surface one parametric or dynamic rather uh, and we'll click on our ring rail and our line profile and hit enter and enter again and then I'm going to just change this to a gray uh, and then what we want to do is go to our transform menu and we want that surface uh, auto base and select surface that's our surface and then from here what I like to do is uh, I kinda like to try and <coughs> uh, get it uh, somewhat centered uh, and then we'll just uh, move it up and then I'll kind of zoom in a little bit, a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but it's close enough. And then hit enter again. So there's our surface we want. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to, to gray also. All right. Uh, so we have our surfaces here that we're going to uh, build off of. Uh, the next thing I would do uh, is, well, yeah, we could hide that, but I won't. We'll just go ahead and build off of it. We'll go to the top menu here, and we'll go ahead and put a gem out there. I don't know the size of your, your gems on here. Um, I'm assuming they're diamond or faceted stones, but uh, and I can't really see how you... Uh, did the sides of the ring, so I'm going to kind of guess, but you can always adjust that. It's not a real big deal. Uh, so the next thing I would do is uh, get a gem, the size that you're you're wanting, and then uh, I would drag it up, and then again I would try and get it uh, as close to the center as I possibly can. So you can zoom in and kind of get a good look at it put those put those lines right on the the lines as close as possible and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change this I'm gonna just say it's maybe a 20 pointer or a quarter carat uh, let's do it quarter carat so I'll pick a 4.10 and we'll just go ahead and enter and then enter and then we want our side stones out there of course so we're gonna go up to gyms again and uh, it'll put a gem out there and we're going to drag that up and again we're going to uh, try and get it as close to the center lines as possible uh, about, about there and then we're going to drag it over somewhat and then again I don't know what your gemstones are so I assume maybe they taper down uh, but it's hard to say uh, so I'll just do this one. We had a quarter carat, so let's do around a 20 point or something like that. Uh, there we go, uh, 3.0, and then hit enter. And uh, we have that stone. Uh, I 
think I want to move it over a little bit. You don't have to. It's just kind of whatever. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mirror uh, that over to the other side. Uh, not F4. Well, I guess I could, huh? Uh, let's do uh, F4 and uh, hold it. Shift and there. We got those. All right, so here we go with this. Uh, there's our three stones out there. I don't, again, I, I don't know your size. They could be all the same size, but nothing's really going to change too much. Uh, and then what I would do is uh, go ahead and do um, a gym offset curve. And then I would just offset it one millimeter uh, and then hit enter, enter. And I'm going to do the same thing to here, offset it uh, one millimeter. Enter, enter, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, offset uh, one millimeter. Uh, enter, enter. Uh, you can tell they're a little bit close, maybe. Uh, I think we could probably drag those over a little bit. Yeah, okay, and then we'll just go ahead and get rid of this one here. And we'll just go ahead and mirror that from F4. Just to give it a little bit of extra room there. Y you can adjust those. It doesn't really matter. Um, it depends on the look that you want in the end, <coughs> of course. And then from here, uh, what I you know, there's tons of ways to do this, but this is just one one simple way. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line with my quads quads on, and connect from here to here, and then I'm going to go ahead and do each individual quad from each individual stone and you'll see why I'm did I click on quad? yeah okay uh, why I'm doing this in a second okay and then I'm going to take these three curves don't worry about breaking history at this point yet because it doesn't really mean anything and then I'm going to split with this curve this one this one and this one and hit enter see broke history but it's it's no big deal uh so from here we don't need this side here of course uh and we don't really need this side or this side or this side yet uh, we don't need this but we do need this so from here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over to non -param uh, parametric or uh, let's see over here blend curves dynamic non-dynamic and just go ahead and click those curves and then I'm going to get rid of this one now and get rid of these two this one don't need this one don't need and then do it again uh, blend curves from this one here to this one here and there's our ring rail or our rail for our top and then uh, from here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of all these extra curves that we don't need anymore. For we used them for splitting. And then I'm going to take all of those curves and join them together. There we go. And we broke history again. <laughs> no big deal. All right, so there's our, our curves. And then from here, what we want to do is go ahead and lay out our uh, profiles to do our sweep. And looking at your ring, it looks like it's all the same height here, maybe. Uh, and then it goes under and then over and then uh, back around again. So this is kind of like a figure eight type thing, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but looking at your ring, that's kind of what I can gather. So we're going to take uh, our curve and go to Tools and uh, put on uh, Profile Placer. And we'll go to per uh, Perspective View. And as you can see, it's uh, not laying in the right direction. So we're going to go ahead over here. And f uh, first, uh, we're going to change direction to Z so that it's standing up. And then as you can tell, it's going in a straight line, which is not good. So we'll, uh, from the top, we'll just go ahead and go to the top and click. And then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. All right. And we'll change our profile back to perspective so I can get a better look at it here. 
and we'll go to uh, pick a profile that kind of gives us those rail shape that we're looking for uh, scroll down here I have one right here that kind of looks like it uh, and I'll select it and hit enter okay so from here uh, we want to adjust this profile uh, I'm just gonna go two millimeter maybe and uh, if you look at the picture looks like again the same height going around here to here and then it dips down and, and goes back uh, so uh, what size we two millimeter uh, we'll take it up 2.5 maybe uh, and then from here we don't really this kind is all the same so we'll just leave that alone we'll go to this point here and uh, click and it's the same and then we'll come down to this midpoint right here and we'll add one and then we'll go down to the very end and add one we really we could uh, just mirror that over but it's not a big deal either or uh, and then hit uh, oh well we gotta adjust those so we'll go back to perspective uh, all those are the same at the, this point so right now we're gonna need to adjust two of them the first one being this one here so we'll just go here and then we'll switch that to a 90 degree and then this one here we'll go to the top view and click on our profile and then we want to angle it kind of perpendicular with our shank as best we can we can always adjust these later so it's not a not a huge deal if it's not head-on at this point and then I'm gonna go to perspective and then I'm going to drop that height uh, down to I don't know 1.9 1.8 now yeah, we'll go to uh, and then hit enter okay so there's our profiles now from here uh, we want to go to uh, surface sweep uh, parametric or dynamic uh, command sweep one select our rail click one two three four hit enter okay and as you can see it's kind of jacked up here but that's the only place that it's uh, really kind of messed up so what we want to do is uh, just uh, go ahead and hit enter and then we'll come back here pick this profile and go over to edit and then we're just going to uh, flip this profile here and okay so no uh, we'll let's see okay T take this profile and we're going to flip it there we go okay uh, and as you can see we got our surface there let me go back to and we'll hit enter enter okay oh wait a minute okay so we need to go to our surface our sweep and edit because we don't want these caps on we want to turn off all these caps we don't want them because we're going to mirror that and it's going <coughs> to butt up so from here uh, just go ahead and hit enter so we accept that command and uh, let me switch to here uh, and I'm going to turn off this because we don't need it right now and you can tell they're kind of lined up there and this well actually we need that back okay so what we're going to do at this point is we need to mirror or not mirror rotate and as you can tell this side goes down we might have to adjust that a little bit but let's take a look see what it looks like uh, from here what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to our curve menu and just get a line curve we'll need this curve anyway for later so go from mid all the way over to mid and then hit enter and then we can use that mid right there uh, to uh, rotate this so we're going to take this we're going to rotate it put on copy go to our mid drag it out hold down shift switch it around and hit enter and there that should give us uh, the shape that we're looking for yeah there we go and you can go back in there say you you don't like that profile 
being that you want a little bit extra room there so you can edit it uh, so go and click on that profile and then you can just drag it down or move it up however and just hit enter and it'll adjust everything uh, and you can see that uh, you have a little bit more extra room there okay so that's that we got this one and we've got this one and we're gonna go ahead and join those two and it says we broke history no big deal uh, and then here we have an open surface okay so that means those didn't line up real good hmm wonder why all right uh, and then join and clear that still didn't do it should have so one of them's probably off but it doesn't matter because we can always just do a uh, mesh repair and it'll seal everything up uh, looks oh, okay it's just eh, just a little bit overlapping but it's it's not a big deal uh, so from here uh, let's turn on our gems again okay and from here what we can do is go from on this curve and go to curve or uh, tools profile placer and again that's that one we don't want but first we need to put it in the Z direction uh, and then we'll switch it over to uh, the same profile that we use to sweep the top rails uh, right here and select and we want to adjust uh, our width go to 2.5 and maybe eh, 2 millimeters okay I guess you know again it doesn't matter well, actually, we'll just make it a 1.8. And we want to add another profile right in the middle of that. And then hit Enter. And then we're going to go ahead and do another surface sweep. Uh, dy dynamic. Uh, one. Select our rail. Profile 1. Profile 2. Hit Enter. And again, we don't want... Uh, this cap is okay but we don't want that one so uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that cap and we'll just go ahead and keep that one because we can well we're gonna yeah we'll just get yeah we'll just keep it yeah we'll get rid of it <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, again and then from here just uh, actually uh, I'm going to I'll show you why I'm doing this later, but I'm going to move this profile just slightly. Uh, there we go. Okay. You don't have to do that. It should be okay. But, uh, and then we're going to take this and we're going to mirror it from mid and put it there. Okay. So now we have all our objects that we need to flow. All right, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Transform, uh, Flow Along Surface, uh, Smart Flow, and we're going to select our surface and then our projection surface. Okay, it's at the bottom, so that's good. And we're going to take our objects, one, two, three, four, and hit Enter. And give it a little time. All right, so there it's kind of flipped it uh, inside out so from here uh, flip norms there okay and we'll take a look at that and make sure okay it's not ooh no 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 we don't want that let's flip it back let's uh, UV transpose UV I don't think that's the right command. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. Uh, it's is it going from the. Oh, okay, right here. This is going down. This is going up. So, uh, flip you. <laughs> flip you. 
Yeah, there we go. And there you can see that uh, everything's. Sometimes they, uh, you got to check to make sure these are going in. To they're they're all the right spot. Now let's go to. Uh, there we go. Uh, plastic and take a look. See, that so th there you go. They're flipping over. And then hit enter so that it'll create our service. And now I left this open uh, just because sometimes, uh, but this top surface didn't uh, close. So we got to, I mean, it didn't join because we had a, uh, what you can do is you can split that, but uh, it's, it's just as easy to go to uh, um, create your mesh, make a mesh. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn off gray here. And right here, I'll turn. Go ahead and turn off yellow. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, so let's uh, change it to green, and then I'm going to uh, not show yellow. All right. So from here, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and dupe edges right here, and then hit enter. Now, here's a, a, th a thing. Uh, you have to select your. Uh, edges where they go. Oh, I turned them off. That's why. Okay, so you have to select your edge, my grouped edges, and then ungroup them uh, in order to be able to make this uh, make this sweep. Okay, so okay, ungroup edges. Okay. All right, so they're ungrouped. Now all you have to do is just do one. You don't do one more surface. It's a little bit extra work, but select your ring rail, select your profile here, select your profile here, hit enter, and then uh, you don't want those. I don't know why they put those caps on all the time. It should be the other way around. Uh, and then take and hit enter. Okay, so we got this, 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 and we want to join. Transform Volk History, it's no big deal. Okay, and then this and this. Okay, so we're done with this. Delete. And we'll go down and uh, put that on plastic. And then from here, all you have to do is add your stones, put your heads on there. And it, that's, real, that's the real easy part. But you can also do a mesh, but we'll go ahead uh, and do the the stones, uh, the gems. I believe my first stone was a uh, a twenty quarter carat. So we'll just get back that quarter carat. Uh, four point three, I think it was. Uh, four point uh, quarter carat. Four point one. Four point oh. I'll just go with the four point oh. And we just uh, will go to front view and we'll drag it up. However high you want it, doesn't matter. Hit enter. And my stones are turned off, so. Okay, well there, I got my stones in there. What size is that? Uh, size 2.57? What size is this one? Oh, okay, so let's edit this 2.57. 2.57 and hit enter enter so that's that puppy and then this one here is a 2.05 okay point point 2.05 so we want to go ahead and I'm going to change these to a different color and then hide them for a second and I'm going to go ahead and add a gym and size 2.05 point two oh five and hit done and then basically that's just uh, dragging it and putting it in place <coughs> and we'll see what that looks like from the top here how close we got it and eh, not too not very close so over and we'll go ahead and give it some uh, input.
put it on perspective so we can get a better look. Drag it over. Okay, so the angle is not too good right now. And we'll drag it down. You know, depending on the height that you want, I'm not, like again, that's all just personal preference. And uh, let me see here. Let's go to front. Take a look from, well, let's go to all of them, as a matter of fact. It kind of looks like it needs to go over there. Okay, so drag it. I don't know if you want it at that much of an angle or however. Yeah. Just kind of adjust it where you where you want it to go. And once you get it to where you like it, let's, let's move it up a little bit more. Yeah. Kind of get it to wherever you think it's best positioned in there. Maybe down a little bit. Let's put it down in there. That's maybe it'll make it easier to Yeah, there you go. You can make it easier to adjust. Get a better look at it when it's deep inside there and then you can just drag it out wherever you want. A little bit more maybe, I don't know. Just depends on where you want it. And hit enter. Take this one, drag it down a little bit, enter, something like that. And then from here it's just uh, going to settings. Um, I you know, you got a head or something, uh, I think. Let's take a look. Okay, the prongs are and then here you can just uh, adjust your prongs how you want. Uh, let's see, something like this one. And let's put this on uh, so we can get a good look. And uh, we'll just keep that down. Uh, we want to, uh, let's take a look here. Okay, yeah. go to our, I'm not familiar, I don't use these type of heads very often, but uh, I want to adjust that uh, thickness of my head, maybe you already know how to do that, height, yeah there we go, I want this come up, whoa, no, 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 wow, what, okay, so something like maybe that, and it's all touching on the inside, so that's okay. And I got boatloads of prong there, but you'll see what I'm going to do here in a second. Uh, and then hit uh, enter. And then what I'm going to do is, you, there used to be a match attributes. I don't know that it's still there. Let's go to F6, match attributes. No. Let's see if it uh, has it in the command line. Match attributes. Okay, select objects to apply styles to. Uh, hint enter. S uh, select object to take styles from. Head. Check. Apply. Boom. There you go. So they're both the same now. Okay, and then uh, from here, uh, what I would do is I just take this head and explode it. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you why, because you have some prongs on there, but this way it's, oh, can you explode heads? Maybe not? Cannot explode. Okay, well that figures. Yeah, you could put your <laughs> head on there. Uh, all you have to do is draw your circles and 
do a loft or whatever for your prongs but actually it's probably a, a good idea to have those because what you can do is maybe uh, go to curve and do a uh, where is it uh, extract iso curve extract iso curve and you can just take it like this one here select surface it won't let you do it from the prongs oh that's a bummer man That's a bummer. Okay, well. Huh. I'm surprised you can't explode heads. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, two. Okay, well, let's just get rid of this head. Get rid of this head. Do it again. Okay, so let's go to the gym. Go to settings. Go to... Let's do under bezel. There's my under bezel, and it fits in there good. Okay, so I'll just uh, let me see. Let's do a. There we go. Okay, we'll make that a little bit thinner there, and hit enter. All right, and then uh, prongs, top. Go to curve. Go to uh, you can go to circle curve and turn off all your snaps. Kind of wherever you want those uh, prongs at. A three point, four point, and eh, maybe something like that. And then go to perspective because it placed it at the bottom, and then we just want to drag it straight up or wherever you want your prong at. And then go to top view. Oh, okay. So we get this on. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then what you can do is you can go to the front view and you can duplicate. Uh, point to copy from here something like that hit enter then you can do a loft surface loft where's okay I'll just type it in down here Uh, select curves to loft. One, two, hit enter, enter. And let's take a look here. Perspective. It looks like it might be twisting a little bit. Let's move you. Let's turn off green. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah. All right. A uh, closed loft. Okay, and surface, and you can just cap those. And there you go, there's your prong. So from here, you can take that. Uh, Mirror F four. Take that that and mirror F four. And there's your head and you can just cut that off or do a ring rail. Cut to ring rail. And let's take a look. Yeah. And there's your prongs, there's your head, kind of similar. You can move those closer together. If you go to the top view, you can uh, take this one and this one 
and uh, if you if you want move it and then they automatically update and then you can take this one and this one and move them out a little bit broke history so just go ahead and get rid of these and then just rotate these around with four something like that to get it more of a yeah that's okay more of a close together like you have there and then if I get rid of the blue stones you can see the base is there so there you know that's all you have to do I don't know that you can let's try let's uh, take this and well first let's just go here let's go uh, match match attributes I don't know if it'll work on this or not. Select objects to styles from this one. No, no, no. So objects to apply. Okay, enter, and then objects to take styles sheets from. Just the under bezel will apply over. You'll have to go ahead and put the prongs on there too. But maybe, yeah. And then from here, hide your stones get rid of these and uh, go to uh, manufacturing mesh repair select all your objects hit enter give it some time hit enter take our uh, green here yeah there we go there's our mesh and take that change it to here well take our mesh change yeah and then go down to uh, get rid of purple yellow can't turn off the color, so we'll change it to this color. Or we'll change it to this color and get rid of yellow. And there's your your mesh. There, there you go. There's your there's your uh, ring. Hope that helps. You probably want to thin that out. I didn't notice that. It looks like it may be a little bit thinner than what I have here. It's a little thick. But you can, you know, like I said, you can adjust that all day long to all different kinds of styles. You can change profiles. You can do all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, but that's about it. So hope it, uh, hope it's okay. Hope it helps. <laughs>